Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 845. My name is Christine and on today's episode, I'm showing you a project using a variety of Tim Holtz products. When we were at CHA, we dropped by Tim Holtz ideology booth and um, they gave us a make and take to take with us so we can show you how it all got put together. And it's also a great way to see some of the new ideology products. So it starts with this cabinet card frame and what they've done is cut a four by six piece of paper from uh, Tim's paper packs and insert it into the frame. So that's where we are here. Next, we're going to take our sanding block and just sand around the edges a bit. And you can see it's just taking off some of that color. Sort of turns it white. Sort of like that. Next thing we want to do is take some distress ink. I'm going to use vintage photo here. And with a foam uh, applicator, I'm just going to just add a little bit of that brown around the, the uh, frame. Sort of like that. Now, if you were doing this at home, what I would do, this is the crinkle ribbon, and this has been colored with distress stain. So you could do that now and then place it aside so it would be dried by the time you need to get to it. So I'm going to put that aside. Next, we have this ornate frame and one of the adage tickets. What we want to do is sort of line it up like that. So you can see over here on the ends a bit showing. So I'm just going to cut off a bit of the end. And see how that works now. I think I'm just going to cut off a little bit more here. And then I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to glue this on. So I have my glossy accents and I'm going to just put a little bit. Now you can get glossy accents in this small bottle I'm using as well as a the large bottle. Let's just turn it over so we could line it up like like that. Um, I like to use the small bottles just because it's, I find it easier to use. The large bottle though will last you. I have my large bottle and it will last you years. You need so little of it. So there we have glued on our ticket. So next I'm going to be sliding the ribbon through. So I'm going to just cut it a bit on an angle to see if it will make it easier to get it through these holes. Just trying to get that point through my hole ah, so I can pull it through. There we go. It's going to go about there. Let's see. I think I've got to pull more ribbon through. Going to 
tie it in a knot. And then see if I can get a little bow out of it. There's a cute little bow. I might make this a little smaller. Show it the right way in a minute. I'm just gonna cut my ends off. So you can see the little bow there. Next, he's taken one of the cute little pins and added a few pearls to it. And we're going to pin that on. to the bow. I think I pinned it through too many each ribbon. Hold on one second. I'm going to just get a smaller amount of ribbon to pin this to. There we go. Just that cute little thing there. Okay. Now, if you have um, if you have some um, tissue tape or some of that uh, the clear camera type ribbon film, then you could add it on the back too here. And if you wanted to secure this a bit more, you could always just um, put a little tiny attacher on just to help secure it in place. But I think I tied it pretty good that it's not going anywhere. So next, there was this little stamp or this little uh, file label here, and he stamped it with one of his stamps. And it just comes right off. It's a little sticker. And it can go sort of down here and then around the edge. Another fun thing are these little bingo number things. And if you want to change the color, you can get archival ink and just rub it on a bit like that and then just set it aside to dry so um, that is one way you can alter the color of these little bingo things next we have a little wishbone attached to this little brad um, the the wishbones are new to the collection and he punched a hole with his little drill kit and you can see what a fine hole he got through there and we're going to add this to the bottom here. So I have a paper piercer and we're going to pierce a hole. Just watch your fingers when it's coming through because it's through a few layers there. get this brad in. Here we go. And on the back you just separate it. You can see how cute it is, the little wishbone hanging off there. Okay. So another thing here is these little gears with the, uh, the game piece. And we're going to be adding that on over around here, I think. So I'm going to punch another hole by paper piercer. that 
brad through. Just give me a second to put the brad through. Open it up. Now if you find your sticker doesn't want to stick around the corner, you can always just put a little bit of glossy accents there. And that will help stick it down. I might just have to hold it for a moment. here and then there's another little gear we can add on underneath here so I'm just going to put some glossy accents on that and add it on and he has these really fun like fountain pen nib, pen nibs, and we're going to glue that on as well. There's little places here to add some glossy accents. Also going to put a little bit up here. Again, you want to just hold it a little for the glue to uh, catch. While I'm holding that, I'm going to talk about this Eiffel Tower. So what they've done is um, took in a glue such as multi-medium. This is on the grunge paper. And they covered their shape with the multi-medium and then used the rock candy glitter over the Eiffel Tower. Once it's dried, then they used the um, alcohol inks to color it black. And that's one quick way to make uh, colored glittered items out of the rock candy stickles or rock candy glitter, the dry glitter. So once it's all dry, then you can glue it on to your thing. Now, I guess I should have had that bow a little bit over. So my Eiffel Towers, I'm gonna move it a bit, I think. I think I'll put it like here, sort of sticking off a bit, which is fine. Oops, I already had the lid off. So I'm going to put glue all over my Eiffel Tower. Now I didn't put it down here where it might be sticking off my thing and up there. So I'm going to put it under here. And just glue it on and then I have my little bingo piece to glue on just hold it a bit and then there's a little clip you can clip on top and you can use that to hang this on your wall. So that is, oh, came off because I've got glue in my finger. You just have to give this a little bit of time to set. That's my problem here, I'm trying to rush it. But this gives you some idea of some of the new products from Tim Holtz Ideology Collection and a way you can use these fun cabinet cards. And this was, um, the make and take at the ideology booth that was designed by Tim Holtz and my sort of interpretation of it. So I hope you enjoyed this little um, project. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you the Viva Color Inca Gold. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.